I'm Sarah Neal, I'm 39 years old, and I'm here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm Joanne Rupinskis, and I'm 63, and I traveled all the way from Park City. Hello, my name's Amber Sargent. I'm 22 years old, and I traveled from Ontario, Canada. My name is Kelsey Wickman. I'm 26 years old, and I traveled from Seattle, Washington. My name is Alex Moya. I am 31 years old, and I live here in Salt Lake City, Utah. My name is Mary Fran Wiley. I'm 32. I'll be 33 on Monday. Um, and I came from Chicago. My name is Mark Love. I'm 45 in August. I came from just North Salt Lake. Hi, my name is Elaine Pajes. I'm 35 year old. Uh, I'm originally from Puerto Rico, but I travel from New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, I decided to join the Art in Motion Summer Intensive for a couple of reasons. The biggest reason was I work for a ballet company and I don't have a ballet background and I really wanted to have this huge vocabulary that all of our dancers have. I teach ballet to figure skaters and to adult beginners in Park City. My biggest accomplishment in Art of Motion this week has been making it through the week and still standing, to be honest. It, I went home quite sore on Monday and Yesterday during choreography was um, a challenge, shall we say, but I'm really happy I'm still standing. There, there's a lot of physical stuff that, that I feel very accomplished about, but I think the biggest, biggest accomplishment would be um, mentally and emotionally kind of overcoming this, this fear that I didn't really belong in this setting and um, my biggest accomplishment this week is just overcoming that and feeling full inclusion, feeling so loved, so welcomed. Um, a lot of patience, but plenty of challenge. And so I feel now that my biggest accomplishment is just um, walking into the studio with, with a lot of confidence and being able to take direction and feel like I don't have to cower in the corner. I'm out here, I'm having a great time. I, I was always jealous, I was like, all these kids get a summer intensive. Like, I'm not under the illusion that I'm gonna quit my job and run off and join a company. Like, I really don't have that in my head, but I was like, wouldn't it be great if I could just take class all day and learn and work on things? I had breast cancer twice, and I was really paranoid and petrified that somehow this was all gonna go away from me, especially since they had to, um, take a muscle from my back and flip it forward in order to rebuild um, my breast because usually um, they do it with excess fat but um, there really wasn't any and my joke is who knew that being skinny and a dancer was going to come and bite me in the ass. So I decided to join the intensive because um, really it's a unique opportunity. Um, I don't think there's other adult intensives. I think the most emotional moment I had was with Contemporary with Patrick. Um, that class really reached me. Um, just to let go of yourself and I like kind of move freely and feel the music. I think sometimes you are not able to let go of yourself and just be yourself. And, and that day I felt so emotional that I, you know, posted this emotional thing on um, Instagram, which I usually don't post such emotional uh, things. And I, I kind of open up about my depression and all this stuff. And, and I think that was a big accomplishment for me. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I have learned that ballet is much, much harder than I thought and more challenging than I ever imagined. Um, I also learned that uh, why someone would like to dance, you know, as a living. It is very fun and engaging and I think very fulfilling. It's a different experience to uh, move through space uh, with music, with other people uh, and have like a more connected experience with others. Um, I would say I learned a few French words, but I think I like confused them all already. Um, taking the class, you know, that was a big step for me. It is very intimidating. I'm not very flexible, you know, so my biggest accomplishment <laughs> is uh, just uh, taking the challenge and being open to it and try hard and not give up when I'm not able to do certain things. In 2008, I was in a car accident. Um, they told me I never walk again. Um, so to show them wrong, I decided to start running. Um, 
which I had had pain ever since the accident. And then after a running injury, nine months after the car accident, um, the pain became so bad that I could, I could barely walk. My leg was three times the size of the other one. Um, they finally diagnosed me with a condition called complex regional pain syndrome, which basically means that a gentle touch, a light breeze, any of that is excruciatingly painful. Um, more than once this week I thought, I, there's no way I can do two classes. I'm not coming back tomorrow. I just need to sleep. And yet every morning I have made it here early for class and done two classes. Um, so I've, yeah, I've learned I'm a lot tougher than I think I am. Um, and everyone here is so nice. I had an opportunity during the Ballet West end of the season, they had the um, Journeys and Reflections, and I was just so moved um, by the performance, and I, I wanted to express myself in a similar way, and then we had the um, National Choreographic Festival, and again, so many pieces, and I thought, what a beautiful expression, and I thought, well, I have a story to tell, and I would love to try that. Um, and Allison sent out a message on her Art Emotions page that said um, that, that she was doing this program and that no experience was necessary. And I thought, is that something I could do? Maybe, you know, you know being disabled, we're, we're used to people not, not wanting people to look at us, kind of um, because of our disability. It's usually an awkward situation. Also, we're used to being treated with baby gloves and people don't want to hurt us or they want to, or, Let's hold the door open for you, even though it's good intentions. It really undervalues what we can do. Um, what's nice about these programs is every instructor has treated me as, as any other student. A lot of the movements in modern were really fast and popping, and yeah, I couldn't do it exactly, but I had a blast doing it, and nobody's saying, well, you're not doing it. I didn't know I had these muscles. Be all of these little old wives' tales of what I can do to lose all of this pain, they're lies. Epsom bath salt baths haven't worked, arnica gel, stretching. Don't give her Tuesday, I thought I was gonna die. But just when you kind of push through it all, it's like, I don't know. It's kind of amazing that I managed to make it through it all. And we'll see tomorrow's another day. But just don't know until you, you come and try it. You just don't know how it can impact you. I would return and uh, tell people to join. I think everyone should have uh, at least once in their life the experience, you know. I'm not planning on being a ballet dancer ever, uh, but I think this has uh, given me a new, fresh outlook into my life, into how to be creative, and I think everyone would um, take something from this experience. If all my Gonzaga dance friends are watching this, you guys better come with me next year. 